Hey, it's Ali here. I'm going to do a video today um, for Stamps by Me. As you know, I'm on the Stamps by Me design team. Um, and I'm really just jumping on because um, I want I have an idea for a project with a set of stamps. And this is the set of stamps. Absolutely gorgeous. It's a dancing theme. Um, and it's a set that's going to be released um in december uh, if you're watching this it'll already have been released um because i've obviously put the, have put the video on after the release so this is what i'm going to be working with and i have an idea i always have an idea of what i want to do um and i have a play and oftentimes it comes out really well and i like what i've made and then i think oh i could have recorded that so I'm going to attempt to do that today um, and hopefully it will come out how I envisage the projects that I want to do. So I've got a small canvas and I've pre-gessoed it. I've used the Cosmic Shimmer Gesso Primer and that's the first thing that um, I always do. I always like to put some gesso on because it can take colour a lot better than um, the, the uh, surface that's already on the um, on the totally lost it <laughs> on the canvas that's it and sometimes when you get the, the canvas home and um, they, they can be a bit dirty so I often put the gesso primer on not only to um, you know prime the bottom but also to brighten it up so what I also did ahead of time is I've stamped out the ballerina shoes slippers onto some tissue paper which I'm going to add to the canvas and I'm going to be using Mod Podge to do that. So that's um, one of the other products that I'm going to be using. I'm also going to be using some modelling paste because I want to um, put some of the paste through the background of this beautiful stencil. Um, to create texture in the background uh, and really I'm doing it on the hoof so it'll sort of I'll start going and then it, it could go anywhere so but that is the general idea of what I want to do so I'll just pop those stamps to one side and I'm going to attach these with the mod patch but before I do that I'm just going to Rather than crossing it with scissors, I want it to look a bit more organic, if you like. So I'm just going to tear around the slippers, ensuring that I don't actually tear into the image, which is something that's quite easily done, if you're not careful. Sometimes what I'll do is I'll use a water brush and I'll just put a bit of water and then that'll help me tear it. So that is that ready. So I'm going to do the background. I'm going to prepare the background. As I said, I want to pop this um, in the background in certain places, not not as a whole, but as sort of um, you know a little bit of texture here and there behind. So I'm going to take my modelling paste. Just. Break it over the stencil, excuse my eyes. And this is really just creating interest in the background, but it's a um, really pretty pattern. As I say, it is one of the, I think you've heard me tell me, it's one of my favourite stencils, which is also available on Tony's website. So, and then just a little bit up in this top corner. Oops, that's too much, I think. Okay. And maybe pop a little bit at the bottom. I'm going to leave the top right hand side. I'll show you where later. 
Just pop those to one side. Okay, so I'm just going to um, help this dry off a little bit. So bear with me while I just dry it off. Okay, so that's nicely dried off. Um, so I've chosen, chosen, chosen um, a couple of colours to have um, in the background. So I'm going to use cotton candy and I'm going to use, um, I've chosen them, I didn't get them out. Um, cotton candy and fall fiesta. And these are two lovely inks from Artistry Ink. Um, and all I'm doing is just popping them onto a um, glass mat at the side of me and then I'm going to spray them with water and I'm going to use them as watercolour. So, get my watercolour brush. I'm just going to lightly spray the canvas itself as well not too much because I don't want to react the water too much with the modelling paste because I'm not sure how it activates you know if it make it go mushy again so all I'm doing is just creating just interest nothing special nothing particular that I'm aiming for I just want interest in the background and not overly in your face um, a bit more subtle than um, spray that and let that do its thing It's a very subtle pink, so I really have to um, and just let it run, let it do its thing, and run down the canvas. I do like that effect. Just a little bit more. Some places. Okay. And then I'm going to dry that off now. So bear with me a second. Okay, and then there's another piece that I want to add to that. So I'm just going to go and grab that. I won't be a second. So I'm also going to add a little bit of interest using um, some script tissue. I'm just going to tear that up. And then a little bit of musical notes. I'm just going to tear those pieces up as well. So I'm going to pop the musical notes on. As I say, I do have an idea. I don't always end up doing it in the way I think it's going to go. But bear with me and I'm going to have a go. So I'm using Mod Podge to adhere the musical notes so they're just going to sit on there 
like so. And what they'll do is they'll appear to disappear, if you like, into the background. I'll pop that on there. And then, okay, so a little bit of text on there. Okay, and a little bit more music across the centre, so I'll pop that there. And then I do that. Like so, just give that a second or so just to um, dry up a little bit. Okay, so I'm just going to help that along with um, drying, and I'm going to use my heat tool. I'm just going to come off to the side, I'm just cleaning my paintbrush from the Mod Podge. Okay, right, I'm just going to dry this off a little bit. Okay, so that's all nicely adhered. I'm just going to cut the ends off there. And then just a little bit at the bottom there. Okay, all I'll do is I'll just pop back up with the Mod Podge later to seal it all in at the moment. I don't want to put too much Mod Podge down uh, and wetting the project. So I've got the um, ballerina slippers and what I'm going to do is add a little bit of colour. I had already started so I'm using the cotton candy which is a really lovely light cotton obviously um, but it's perfect for the ballerina slippers now the reason I'm doing it first is because I'm not 100% sure if I adhere it to the project whether once the Mod Podge is dried I'll be able to actually apply the colour on top of the Mod Podge. So if I do it now and dry it off, hopefully um, it will stay on. So this is all first, so it's, this is the thing about mixed media, it's an amazing um, crafty thing to do. You can have a play and get all your things out um, and it's all about learning and the process and making the mistakes. and. And even if I do make some mistakes in this video, I'm not going to worry too much because it's all about the process and having fun anyway and not letting it bother you too much getting things right wrong. Because if you're worried about that too much, you wouldn't do it. So. I'm going to dry this off and see how deep it is. It may need another coat, so bear with me one second. Okay, and then also what I want to do is just spray a little bit of more intense pink onto the project. So I'm going to use a spray. Just gives me a bit more pink. And I've used here um, Pearly Winks spray and it's the Candy Shop 
chalk spray in candy floss colour. So I'm just going to give this now a quick dry off, bear with me. Okay, that's giving me a little bit more pink, which is what I wanted. Um, the peach has started just taking over a little bit. So you're getting the general idea there. And I think that's beautiful. So I'm now going to add the ballerina shoes in the same way as I added the musical notes. Anyway, Mod Podge again. So you look in at where you want where you pop in them and then just put in a coat down like so. And then just Now this is the point where you just want to be gentle when you do it because it is, there you go, very easy to tear. So very, very gently. And then it's also very easy to sort of um, double up if you like as well. So I'm just going to press that down. Try and get that back as much as I can. Some things can be mended, so there you go. So you've got your little ballerina slippers at the bottom there. So I'm just going to dry that off. Bear with me a second. Okay, so what we're going to do now, excuse the arms reaching over, is I'm just going to tidy it up, let it cool down, tidy up the edges So I'm just going to let that cool down. I'm just going to go and grab um, my aqua pencils. Bear with me a second. So I've got some Baby Castell graphite pencils, which are water um, soluble. And what I want to do is just a little bit of shading, if I can over the Mod Podge, as I say, it's all experimental. Um, but I want to try and do it over the, around the side here and just create some shade um, onto the project. And then I'll show you the next part, what I want to do, which is, if you're wondering where this top's being left, it isn't, it's been left for a reason. So I'm going to grab the thickest one and so I need to check it's still a bit warm. I need to. So let's go around. And create some shade around the ballet slippers. Let's be careful. As I say, I'm not sure it's going to go over the Mod Podge very well, but let's see. Here we go. Because the Mod Podge is, um, is a sealer as well, so um, 
We may not. And create a nice shadow at the bottom. I'm just going to spray a bit of water and use a small water brush. And just create that illusion shadow at the bottom and around the side like so. That's quite nice there. I can't get too much down this area because the Mod Podge. I don't want to go too hard with the pencil and then risk actually ripping, ripping the tissue paper. So that's not too bad. So all I'm doing, as I said, is just creating a little bit of shadow. So I'm going to do the same on this one as much as we possibly can. Okay, it's so a little bit of water. the ballerina slippers to life because prior to popping the um, graphite on they were into so we want to bring them a little bit more into the foreground so a little bit more here into this side realistic feel so it's like she's grounded there on the floor okay so we've got that part done pop our pencils away and then the top area what I did um, prior to popping on on filming was I found some material um, and I've just popped a running stitch along the top like so and I wanted to create and I've also um, made a ribbon which is why I've tied all the colours in the peachy colour and whatnot so I wanted to create a mixed media piece so that it is like so Just once I can finish that in later. So I think that the best thing to do is to adhere this with um I'm wondering if the glue gun's going to be the better. Yes, so before we do that, let's see if there's anything else that we can um, be popping into the background or adding to make it more a bit more. I'm just going to go around the graphite once more just to pop that in. I think going to pop some gems onto the top of the slippers so I'm going to use these and I think I may pop them across the top of her 
slippers like so. We always like to have a bit of bling and ballerinas definitely are beautiful and blingy. So I've just popped those onto the top. And I think I'm going to try and accentuate that pink in her ballet slippers. So I'm going to use the Silky Himmy Crayon, um, the pink one, obviously. And then I'm just going to pop it onto my glass mat and then spray it. And I want to try and deepen if I can, if it's going to let me do it. Try and deepen just some areas. Where it would be caught in the shadow. It's just not as much, it's not as one dimensional bending. Just pop them like so. There we go. A little bit under there. Okay, I'm going to let that dry naturally. It's just given some depth to his slippers. Okay, so the glue gun is nearly there now. So I pop my hemi crayons away. And just wash off my brush. Okie dokie, so want to pop the ribbon on the top. Oh, I beg your pardon. So a nice big dollop of glue onto there. And then I think we'll pop this on first. So I'm going to glue the top. Down like so, okay. That's second to grab, and then don't put your finger in the glue, might be a superb idea. So a nice big dollop of glue and that's going to cover up all your stitching at the top and your gluing. And there, I'm, I'm so happy with that and how it's turned out, I can't tell you. I'm so glad I taped it as well, recorded it so that you could all have a look and see. So I'm thrilled to bits with that. There you go. I knew as soon as I saw the stamps the kind of effect that I wanted to achieve, but it was whether I was going to be able to do it. Uh, but there you go, I'm, I'm really, really chuffed with that. Happy, happy, happy. So I hope you have enjoyed watching that. Um, there are other stamps in the series. It is um, a dancing series based around ballerinas. Um, so I am going to be videoing some more. So I hope you come back and watch those. If you haven't subscribed already, please do. Uh, it's, it's, um, click the notification bell as well and that will let you know when um, 
more of my pro projects have come online uh, on YouTube. Um, have a wonderful crafty day and I'll see you soon. Thanks very much. Bye.